Angie from Canterbury Trails Farm. Um, I am going to show you how to make a reusable fabric tea bag today. Uh, I think I talked about it in a few other of my videos and I'm finally getting around to it. Um, in November, December 2015, um, Backwoods Home Magazine, uh, I wrote an article and they did a really nice presentation of it on how to make a reusable fabric tea bag. Um, I've said it before that I use a lot of, I use muslin for a lot of things. I feel like it's a um, nice cotton fabric that um, is very versatile. To uh, sell these um, tea bags and other items, I used to have an, an eBay store for a long time. Um, a, a, I sold a lot of like, uh, um, were reusable products that could replace products that you already have that I made. Anyway, I sold them. And so uh, this was one of my good sellers, this and the coffee filters that I've already done the videos on. And there are a lot of ways to do this where that you can have fancy um, French seam the um, inside so it looks as nice on the inside as it is the outside. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do the basics so you get the idea. Um, like on the top, on the edges, you could fold this under to make it neater inside. But I'm just going to show you how to do the basic um, tea bag. Um, I suggest sticking to cotton and um, you don't want anything with a, a very big weave because you want your um, tea grounds to stay within the bag. And that's why I feel that like a um, muslin cotton is a really good way to go. So the first thing you need to do is we're going to make a casing. We're going to fold the very top of your bag over by a fourth to a half an inch. Um, you can pin it if you want. And I'm just going to do a straight stitch across. You're making a casing. And for those unfamiliar with the term casing, it's just the, like in a drawstring bag or a drawstring pants or whatever, it's just the little tunnel at the very top where your um, string or elastic or whatever it is that you are feeding through will go through. So there we have a little, you can see the little, I should have used a different color thread, but so that's the top. Now, um, you're just going to fold it so that the, the right side, the side that you would see if you were using the tea bag, is on the inside, because this is going to be your seams. You're going to line up your edges. Now you want to not sew the top of the casing. So you want to start your stitches like right um, on that seam line. Because you need to have that open so you can put a string through it. So about a one-fourth inch seam allowance. And then I'm going to trim my edges. Now I usually French seam these and um, that's a whole nother video um, <laughs> um, where it's sort of a different way of, of sewing it. But since I did not um, French seam this, I'm going to go ahead and do a zigzag. I like to make sure I'm reinforcing um, my seams. It just makes them last a little bit longer. I'm just going to zigzag the, if you have a serger, this works too, just zig zigzag the outside edges on the seam. Not necessary, just something to make it a little stronger. If you're sewing it by hand, um, after you get done doing the stitches, you could blanket stitch the edges if you wanted to. All right, so now we have a little bag. So I'm going to turn that right side out. We have a little bag. Now you're going to put a, um, you need a length of ribbon or string and you need to feed that through the top of the casing like this one has been done 
And uh, the best way to do that is tie it to a safety pin and feed it through there. And then when you get to the end, tie it in a knot. And then you can sew a little, um, I've got little flowers, I got little crochet flowers on this one. They were like little, um, it was like pieces of, of costume jewelry. Um, I'm use all kinds of things. I have a, a wood button here that would work, little bows, um, any kind of little doodad, rosette, or anything. And you don't have to do that at all. I mean, if you don't want to. Um, another idea I thought about when I was back selling them but never got around to doing it was um, you can buy the little, um, you can order them in magazines and stuff. They're little like, pre printed tags that you sew into clothes. It usually says handmade by or something. And you print them with your name on it. And you could get those and you could sew those to the end. Um, so this one was um, same way. I just used embroidery floss on these, like the pearl in, uh, twisted embroidery floss. Um, you could use twine. Um, you can use um, ribbon. Like I said, I had um, showed like some narrow ribbon. Um, anything like that would work. Just feed it through. You can see that on this one, you can actually see it's been fed through the casings. And then when you put your tea down in there and pull it tight and your bag um, is there. And the reason why I put something on the string is because then you can put this outside of the cup and it acts sort of like a little bit of a weight to hold the string down. The way I clean these is um, after I use the, the tea, and I have one here that you can see it, the sort of the staining on it. Here's a used one. So um, I say the tea is in there and I'm done making my... Um, cup I just leave it on a little um, spoon rest or something um, then I just push it like this into the compost inside out and sort of scrape all that out of there you can rinse it down the sink too I guess if you wanted to it's small and then um, I usually leave it inside out and I just wash it in hot water and I just put it on top of a soap dispenser or something and let it air dry uh, if it looks like it's getting um, a little bit too um, stained. I'll use a little bit of um, dish dish soap, liquid dish soap, and um, you know get that in a real good lather. But this one's been used for um, several years, and it's not too bad. But they will get. Um, I have a lot of them, so this is just one of them. But they will get pretty stained after a while. And the great thing about this, if you're using the cotton muslin, you can actually throw the whole thing into your compost bin because it will rot. Um, after you know it's just fabric so it's just cotton it will break down so that's just a cute little thing to make and um, they make really cute gifts if you make like six or eight of them and put them in a little um a little you know container or a little basket or something with maybe a package of tea and if you draw if you grow your own mint or something you could even package your own dried mint and that makes a cute little gift uh, makes a cute teacher gift um if you know your teacher likes tea um, makes it, it's just a nice little homemade thing and they're really easy to make and you can make a whole bunch of them really fast because like I said the whole concept is basically you just made a little tiny miniature um, drawstring bag. So I hope this has been helpful and um, thank you for joining us here at Canterbury Trails Farm. Bye. -bye.